This is a review of the V-Smile Baby System. And let me bring this over to you. And this is the wireless connector. This part is. It connects to the controller. This is the on and off switch. Back here, you have a slot to hold four games. This is the game that comes with it. And that is the Learn and Discover Home. And we've turned it on. You use this button to turn it off. And then turn it back on. And um, I'm going to go sit this down now. I also have the uh, Pooh Bear, which we will do next. On the controller, there's three modes. Playtime, watch and learn, and then learn and explore. Playtime is for the smallest baby, around nine months. And then um, the next is for children a little bit older, and then the Learn and Explore for children even older than that. So that is really cool that it has those modes. This is a soft right there so that they can take this in the car. And we're going to choose Playtime. And we chose the circle, which is Squirrel Shape Adventures. Let me go back. Exit takes you back to the main menu. And the star chooses um, the bunny's bubble bath. And this one's pretty cool. The different colors on this remote will change the colors of the bubble bath. So watch that. Yeah. Orange. And this button causes the rabbit to go in the bath and out of the bath. The uh, little spinner over here doesn't really do anything. That's just for fun. And then back to the uh, menu. We'll do one more. We've got stacking numbers. And we're going to do this one in, in the watch and learn mode. So it'll be for the next step up. And then you can change to learn and explore mode. So that would be for older children. And it's neat that you can change from each mode and still stay in the same game. So for children who want to play with all the different modes, they can stay in the same game. And I'm going to hit exit, and um, that's about the gist for this one. There's, of course, the music mode, and then an animal buddy. So you've got shapes, colors, numbers. Um, so really, really neat. Um, on the controller, you have the uh, TV mode. So you have to have that in TV mode to connect with the TV. And then you have the play alone mode, which is for taking this on the go or if you just don't have the TV hooked up they can still have fun with the controller and then this if you press this bye bye. it turns the whole thing off all the way down to the um, base over there everything gets shut off so that's neat um, and it's a small button so a small child isn't going to accidentally shut it off but um, I do like that it has that on there now I'm going to put in the other game and there we go We've got the Pooh Bear in there now, and who doesn't love Pooh Bear? And let's let that get started. Pooh's Hundred Acre Wood Adventure. And we're going to go down to playtime again. So we're in the youngest age bracket. And we're selecting playtime. And then you have a map, uh, similar to the other one. Um, let's choose... The Tigger with painting. Press the green. 
green and it changes the color on the background it's hard to tell the difference between orange and red very similar but um, let's go ahead and go up to watch and learn green This makes Pooh Bear jump. Yellow. And this just controls the bees in the background. Really not very interactive there. And this makes Tigger and Pooh Bear jump up. Okay, let's hit. Let's go up to the next mode. That wasn't very entertaining at all. Yak, 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 yak. So I don't think there's any extra. Oh, here we go. And this is in for the oldest children. That's cool. So you can choose what color you want the leaf. Um, give us something else. Red. Ooh. Okay. This is cool. I like this a little bit. But um, okay. Let's hit exit. Go back and try one more. And let's do numbers. But overall, it's a really cool toy. I think my uh, son is going to really enjoy it. We actually got it for his second birthday, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Let's help Pooh do his exercises. Press the shape buttons to help Pooh clap one. Would you like to clap? Let's clap once together. One. Let's help Pooh one. Would you like to kick the ball? Let's kick the ball once together. One. The last thing I wanted to show you is the um, baby sign language. I forgot to show that when I had the first one in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Sorry to interrupt Pooh Bear. But um, I wanted to add that in there before this video got too long. And the sign language is in the watch and learn mode. And you press this button to get that baby sign language first word would you like to learn about the baby and this just changes the color behind the baby this button causes the baby to bounce this is the sign for drink And it just goes through different words, um, drink, milk, I think it does ball, and it just keeps doing them over again. Really, the buttons in this mode just change colors of different things. And then, of course, this button makes different things bounce. So, that's kind of the gist of that. And um, I hope this helps you. The uh, only other thing to show you is... That's Where in play alone blue? mode. A hard and star, a triangle. I want to learn today. There is no volume button on this, so and it's pretty loud. Um, this velcro's on here so that you can wash it like that. 
Oh, I'm sorry. See, that comes off. So that that is really, really nice and well thought out. Um, let me bring this up. But once again, we're in the playtime mode. A triangle has three points. A star has five points. A circle goes around and round. But that is in the playtime mode, so that's if you took it um, on a trip with you, that's what it would do. But um, the main use of it is to uh, play with the television. So um, I hope this review helps you. Subscribe to my channel for lots more toy reviews and product reviews. And enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I will answer as quickly as possible. Thank you.